and I can just let it fly by and read it. I can do some background coaching with a few people if I think they're a little off track. I can get right on the network in kibitz if I'd like. Kibitz is a Yiddish word, and uh, it refers to someone who is observing a game and who makes comments on strategy to one of the players. And usually, the advice is not wanted. They just want the person to to go away. So someone can kibitz a card game, or they can also kibitz a chess game, and by carryover, the word kibitz refers to meddling, where someone uh, basically sticks their nose into something that's not their business and starts making comments to try to influence what people are doing, or likely, or or likewise, kibitz can also refer to idle chat, where people just talk about things where they don't have much power, but they still like to talk about them, or whether they like to, they want to try to indirectly influence, and where people want to indirectly influence something in some way by influencing people who may actually have an influence to do something. So, for example, uh, one executive might kibitz with another executive from another company to try to get that other executive to do something that the person wants them to do. Most people do not like other people to kibitz when they're playing a card game. A lot of executives like to go to conventions. Where they can meet executives from other companies and kibitz about the business. Looking back five years later, this seems like a trivial observation, but at the time it was cataclysmic in its consequences, and the battles that were fought to push this point of view out the door were very large. Cataclysmic refers to a great natural event typically a disaster which causes a great change. For example, a hurricane that causes a flood or an earthquake that causes a lot of damage and fire. Cataclysmic can also refer to a great change in an industry that certainly causes a lot of harm to some companies, but other companies it brings about a great good to them. For example, the switch over from mainframe computers and mini computers to microcomputers was a cataclysmic event that caused a lot of trouble for IBM, DEC, and a lot of other companies. But it was a very good event for smaller companies like Microsoft and Apple. And what is the difference between switchover and crossover? Because you said a switchover from one product to another. Can you substitute with crossover? I think they are both fairly similar. Switchover would seem to be to change from one product to another product. Crossover would seem to be a slower process where possibly they were using the old product at the same time maybe it took a little more time to make the change the office uh, switched over or crossed over from uh, from traditional paper documentation to cloud computing yeah i think you could use either expression they mean almost the same thing Major hurricanes like Hurricane Katrina don't happen very often, but when they do, it's a cataclysmic event, and they cause a lot of havoc that can change things for a long time. The Great Depression was a cataclysmic event. A lot of people think it was caused by the stock market crash, which was cataclysmic, but other people think it was caused by other greater forces, such as 
a shrinking money supply or the switch over of the US economy from being agrarian based to becoming more manufacturing based. ESL hyphen full steam ahead dot com <laughs>